three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Tell us everything about them. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done... Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dead? Obituaries for all three have appeared online. Accidental death, heart failure, lung cancer. They're covering their tracks. Faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Well, it seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick. The investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you worked for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners are gone forever. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Mann each carry a partial backup drive with the data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. Good luck, 47. Welcome to New York, 47. The Milton Fitzpatrick Bank is open for business, but it seems there's some sort of investigation underway. Expect increased security. Your target, Director Athena Savalas, can be found in her top floor office, overlooking the iconic Teller Hall. Head of security, Mateo Perez, is roaming between the vault area and the Teller Hall, talking to employees. And head of accounts, Fabian Mann, can be found on the investment banker floor and the top floor of the bank, driving the internal investigation. Remember, we need to secure the data from the bank's reinforced vault, or, alternatively, acquire three hard drives carried by the director and her two lieutenants, Mann and Perez. Good luck, 47. I mean, this girl makes Nancy Drew seem like a slob. Seriously, if she is here, she is here for a reason. Yeah, well, it's a bank. There's always things going on in a bank. As long as I don't lose my job, I'm not worried either. But I am. Really? <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll all be fine. Just take it easy. Say what?
Shoot, 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 shoot. Ah. Maintenance had a look at the deposit box room camera. Broken one. Yeah, Fred bought someone down there to sell. Say, aren't you Ruby Red, the investigative reporter? I loved your expose on the much talked data abuse. I mean, wow, Jason Portman must hate you. <laughs> so, um,. What are you working on now? I'm sorry? I don't know what you're talking about. My name's Tina. Tina Smith. I work in insurance. Right. Undercover, are we? No, no, I'm just not who you think I am, sir. Now, please leave me alone or I'll be forced to alert security. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just you really look like her. Um, well, have a good day. Ruby Red, famous muckraking investigative journalist, is in the bank. Known for her fierce skills at digging up dirt and her excellent nose for scandal, she's definitely up to something. Might be worth following her around the bank, 47. Teddy, it's me. I'm at the bank now. I still haven't been able to make contact with the insurance leader. Apparently, someone broke into the bank. Like, you have a friend asking me about it? Oh, Milton Fitzpatrick, how may I be of service to you? Yes, please hold on. I'll pass you through. They're trying to find out. That's my thing. I'm watching the financial investigator who walked in the conference. Wow. She's going down today, Ted. One way or another. That will happen immediately. That's the point, right? So the world is the ugly side. Holding. This is the vault. I'm really sorry, but we've had this the data core should be behind that large steel door. But I need my things in there. Hmm. The vault looks even more fortified than we feared. If I'm not mistaken, only high tier security is allowed in here. Access seems to be restricted to the use of a key card of some sort. Hang on. There's a similar security hub on the second floor. You might be able to acquire what you need there. Well, at least it's not as bad as that time in Queens. Remember that? Oh, 6,000 semi-incinerated files we had to tape together? No. Is that what I think it is? Yes. Just make sure the information will be put to good use. Oh, you can bank on that. Who are you? What's your role in this? I'm not important. Good luck. It sounds like Miss Red has quite a scoop on her hands. My guess is this will cause a major market upset, which is sure to bring the director out from her fortified office.
Oh, have we talked to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathroom. He's been there for ages. Okay, doesn't sound promising. Yeah, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Milton Fitzpatrick is holding a round of job interviews. The final applicant was last seen going into the bathrooms where he's been for some time. Nerves, maybe? You know when he comes out. Will do. Thanks. Oh, there you are. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. It's right down here. Best of luck in your interview, 47. Let's see where this will lead you to. Nervous? Don't worry. You'll do fine. Mr. Thomas, have a seat, please. Ah, Mr. Thomas, good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? I'm ready. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. This one. All right, now look at it closely. Take a few moments, then tell me, do you see an animal? Or an object? Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's... Very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes. Brutal, even. Right. Mm, very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. <sighs> Not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I, uh, go on. He's armed. Dual firearm. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. Okay. Oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that, bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, I have to say, that was very impressive, Mr. Thomas. With your cutthroat approach and killer instinct, I think you'll fit right in with Milton Fitzpatrick. Wouldn't you say so, Melissa? I couldn't agree more, Kevin. Mr. Thomas, allow me to congratulate you on your new position as an investment banker here at Milton Fitzpatrick. Thank you. When do I start? <laughs> well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at 8. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas. You know what? If you want, feel free to have a look around the bank. You've got clearance all the way to the top. Thank you. When do I start? <laughs> well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at 8. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas.
Mm-hmm. Contact. One of the investment bankers at Milton Fitzpatrick is facing termination. He's got a private meeting with Director Savalas and has been told to register at the top floor reception. Well, terminations are your specialty, 47. understand. I can't believe it. I hit every quarter they threw at me. How... <laughs> Anything yet? No, but I'm not even sure. I understand the task and why we're broken. We don't even have. Are we just supposed to let anyone from IT in there? That's right. You know how crap this old building is with the wireless. Now the director hates seeing cables anywhere. Well, she had a router installed in her office, but it dies a lot. 
Hence the need for IT to drop by every now and again. Got it. Uh, Chuck, wasn't it? Look, I'm going for a round. Nobody gets in or out of the conference room unless I say so. It's Charles, Mr. Madden. And yes, Mr. Perez, our head of security, already notified me. I'm keeping an eye out. Mr. Perez, huh? Yeah, all right. Guess I'll talk to him to make sure we're on the same page. You're all extras anyway. You do that, Mr. Mann. Listen, sir, there's no drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. This'll just take a sec, sir. Good. You're clean and good to go. I'm here for a meeting with Director Savalas. I don't think... Oh. Yes, of course. That's right, go inside. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, have a seat, please. Thank you. Mr. Jackson, as you must be aware, we've been running some numbers internally to measure the flexibility and productivity of people working here at the bank. Work hours, output versus input, sales portfolios, late nights and early mornings, things like that. I've been reviewing personnel files for the past few weeks, and a couple of files stood out. Yours, for instance. Is that so? I have quite specific expectations when it comes to my employees. How you appear and act reflects directly on me and this building. And, well, you've certainly managed to stand out, Mr. Jackson. Tell me, do you knit those sweaters yourself? Or does your wife do that? A man needs a hobby, Miss Savalas. God! Leave the room. I need a moment alone with Mr. Jackson here. So, Mr. Jackson, I'm pleased to inform you that you will be able to explore your hobby in even greater detail in the near future. Huh? Director Savalas eliminated. Good work, 47. Nothing to report. Yeah. Oh, it's just stupid hot down here today. Do not turn on the AC. I know, I know. Who the hell?
Great work, 47. You now have access to the vault. Good work, 47. That's the evidence secured for now. Careful not to lose it. If anyone sees you with that rack, my guess is you'll draw a lot of unwanted attention to yourself. That's the last objective completed. Exfiltrate the bank, 47. Miss Hall will want to have a close look at that data. Don't shut up about winning the lottery. Olivia has found something interesting. I'll tell you on the way. Where are we going? To paradise, 47.